Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride and today we're here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the SEMA Car Show and today we're here with Chris and Chris, thanks so much for spending some time Absolutely. with us today. Yeah. Um, I was really excited about this particular one because I, I, I've kind of followed some TV shows um, that, that show this type of vehicle and I've never seen one mm -hmm. in person so I was just kind of thrilled that we found Chris and not only did we find Chris in his truck but Chris was more than happy to talk with oh, us sure. about it. So today, folks, we're, we're uh, I'll introduce Chris Wood here, and this is his 2016 Land Cruiser. Mm -hmm. And so, Chris, when you bought this, mm -hmm. I mean, you've done a ton of modifying to it. Absolutely. But it was stock when you bought it. Yes, sir. Completely stock. Um, so we wanted a platform that was proven around the world and that had different places and locations where it had already been proven, like out in the desert, in the jungle, so that if Sean and my wife and I and our family go camping, uh, outside of the states, you yeah. know that there's parts, there's maintenance, there's support. Right. There's a lot of really good vehicles. We actually were going to build a Jeep out first, and then looked at Australia and, and all these different locations, and they don't drive those. I think you go just about anywhere in the world and find parts for this car. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. And that, that's the yeah. thing about Toyota. Yeah. It's a um, proven. Wow. Proven platform. So okay, now in the back here, sir. What? Just. Well, wait a minute, let's back up for a second because you mentioned your family. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the reason you bought the vehicle. So we we needed to go out as a family and, and go camping. We needed to do that. And we went to an RV show mm -hmm. and we looked at the nice big RVs. Yeah. We walked inside and I took Shauna, who's there. Uh, we walked inside and I said, Shauna, would you like one of these RVs? And she said, if we go camping, you're going to sit inside and watch movies. The girls are going to sit there and play videos and I'm going to be outside by myself. So we scratched the RV deal and then went with this. So now we actually live in the outdoors and outside of the vehicle instead of in the vehicle in the outdoors. So you get a lot to spend a lot more family time Absolutely. Together. It's brought our family so much more closer together, more than it's ever been. And we've been married 22 years. Wow. We, we actually have the best bonding sessions now that we've ever had. That's just fantastic. Yeah, that, that, that's just cool. So, uh, you know, we actually met Chris yesterday and anyway, we came back today. But, you know, Chris, you were talking at that point in time um, that just doing this activity, mm -hmm. having the car, being able to modify and then go on trips sure. has done something to your stress level. Oh, absolutely. So I work for the railroad. Absolutely love my career. I've been there almost 20 years, mm -hmm. uh, but there is no set schedule. Uh, I do 11 days on and three days off. It's 24 hour coverage the wow. entire time. So if something happens in any one of the four Pacific Northwest states, I get the call and I have to go. So so that kind of lifestyle for so many years, your stress level goes up, just natural work stress. Right. Once we bought this, I had a paradigm shift. I found myself sitting in a stream in a lawn chair and realized this is actually what it's Isn't about. That a great feeling? It was amazing. And I, I figured that was the key to the, my whole universe now is I, I wasn't working to live, I was living, or not, excuse me, not, I wasn't living to work, I was working to live. Right. And it was great. It changed our whole entire, just the universe, everything for us. So awesome. Oh, what, what a neat story. Um, and we'll show you, this vehicle, folks, is absolutely packed, and we're going to get through it in a, in a kind of a short amount of time. Sure. But, uh, all right, so Chris, well, let's start with this obviously modified rear. Mm -hmm. Starting with my favorite, because I like buttons and toys, mm -hmm. it's the red light switch. I was asking Chris what this was for, and he dared me to push it. I thought the car was going to, like, you know, eject. But it's just a light button. Yeah. Turns on the LEDs, right. but I like a button for a light, you know, that, I, I, and yeah. it's lit. So, oh, absolutely. all right. Well, let's talk about the serious stuff if you're going to go off-road. Now, this has done a lot. I mean, there's more and more we see it here in the United States. Mm -hmm. This type of vehicle is set up for a camping oh, yeah. with everything. 
Yeah. Um, but a smaller vehicle. Um, Australia is another country that sure. does a lot. Probably the leader in it. Maybe. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and you, you can talk about that, but you got some ideas. You actually went to Australia. No, no, we didn't. But I did oh, all did. my. I, so I designed. I, it took nine months, and I researched and developed the design of the vehicle. And at the time, there were not really any 2016 or newer 200 series in the states that yeah. had been built to this extent. So I really had to reach out of our backyard, basically. And so a lot of the parts have come from all over the all. Over the well, this number one key for us was the storage management system. Okay. This is Trek Box out of California. And the main reason why we got it is it's kind of hard to see. If I pull this table out, there's actually a cage, a full cage that goes back so that things can't slide forward. And you can pack to the ceiling. Right. Oh, yeah. I can attach things. And you got these dividers here, which, oh, oh these they're... swing. No, no, they no, are it, no, it is actually they're they're solid. solid. I couldn't tell from this side. Okay, so um, for the people at, at home have never seen this, this is packs an incredible amount of stuff Absolutely. in here. So Chris, can you show us a few of the things that that people go, huh? So number one is refrigeration system and freezer. So this is a 60 liter National Luna refrigerator and freezer, dual compartments. And we can pack up to about seven days worth of food in here. I thought that was seven days worth of beer. Um, yeah. I thought this was a kegger. Put that away. <laughs> okay, so refrigeration. That's correct. And and, and not powered. It's run on. No, it, it runs on a, dual, on a dual battery system. All right, so where is the plug-in? It's, it's already hardwired into the battery. It's hardwired in, so you don't have to worry about it. No. Do you have a switch for it? Uh, is it just hardwired? I just turn it on here, and that's it. It's just hardwired. Wow. Into, into the okay, door. that is just way cool. And then this part opens up. Oh, you're going to have to get through <laughs> all the way. So these are free carry cutting boards. And we open it, this up, and we have storage in here. This is our stove that we use. Shauna takes these out as a wash basin. Yep. And we actually use this because you can see it's got our first oh, yeah. and washing up material in there. And then we have at this table we put here. And this is the propane that we used to cook with that stove. Yep. And then when we took the, we were kind of jumping ahead out of the track box, but once we took the tire out yep. from the spare tire yep. holder, yes. it opened up a big space there. So we put a 24 gallon auxiliary fuel tank underneath, which is tucked up underneath the chassis. Okay. So how many total gallons of fuel do you carry? 48. And that's all you just pump at the gas pump and it yeah. all goes into your tanks plus? Yeah, so there's two the two holes in the actual filling nozzle or the intake. Yeah. And so the, the left one is for the auxiliary tank and the right is for the main and it just transfers the fuel. So do you have an auxiliary, yeah. as far as like your controls at the front, do you have an like, auxiliary tank switch? Yeah, yeah, there's just a that you flip over. Yeah. So you definitely know when your first tank's done. Oh, absolutely. You've got, right, okay. Yeah. Oh, but with that man. auxiliary tank, then it opened up the jerry cans to carry water. So now right. we have 11 gallons of water instead of extra fuel. Yeah. Or the fuel nice. on the side. Yeah. Because that would normally be where the jerry cans were. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This is the full drawer system, too, that pulls all the, you got to back up. It keeps going. Oh, my it God. It keeps going. So we have all of our kitchen gear in here. We have a rinse kit, which is our shower. And I actually have a dice in the auto vacuum back there. Oh, nice. It plugs in a 12 volt. Yeah, yeah. And so you can vacuum Absolutely. up afterwards. Yeah, it's okay. camping. It gets, you know, yes, it does. It's, it's just as messy as eating at home, if not more. And this Pelican case, the large one, is for all of Shauna's dry food storage. It has dividers inside. Okay. And she carries all the dry food storage yep. in there. And then the top one's recovery gear. And then uh, up the, you know, um, solar. Solar stuff. Yeah, so we actually, I'll plug this into the lithium ion battery in the front and then put the panels out and like have trickle charge all day long. So we can really be self contained for, for a good two weeks. Wow. It's really, it doesn't matter about the power. The power is not a limitation, and neither is the water because I have a water filtration yeah. system I bring. It's really how much food do we have. So as long as the food lasts, we can last out there. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Here, and there's storage on both sides, and they're little, little wings. So I have my dual ARB compressor on this side, which goes to a one-gallon forage air tank. Okay. And then, you know, for airing up the tires. And I have, I have an air chuck here. That has got to be one of the sweetest little additions. Oh, it's so cool. I mean, I, I, I think no matter what car you own, if you're, like, ever have to do work on it, Absolutely. like change tires, folks, that 
and there's a matching one on the front which we'll front. show you yeah absolutely okay so tell us a little bit about your what what you did here because this is um we did something with the spare tire because the spare tire was underneath yeah right and that we talked about that with the water storage right. but then you had to do did you do something different with the mount or the way the gates close with everything so, else so the gates close it's a dual swing out yep and so they just close up like this And they're all set. And we're all set. We're good to go. And our propane is protected from both sides. And then this is a Wii Boost system, so it's a cell phone booster. And so when we actually travel, this lays down in that cradle there. Oh, and then sweet. it all locks in. All right, look this. Now, you mentioned something already that's going to pique viewers at just going. You just mentioned the lithium ion battery. Absolutely. So, can we go around and take a look at the front? Because this has not had, obviously, it has a lot of stuff on it. Mm -hmm. It's got more than one battery. So. Sure. Let's, let's step up front and take a look. Sure. Where's, where's the button? Where's the button? Yeah, well, it's right here. Push it. There you go. I, I, I knew this from yesterday. I love that. And, and it's so nice to have the dual lights bright throughout the night. It works. So here's your traditional battery. Yep, well, actually, we upgraded this to the Odyssey Deep Cycle. Okay. Yep. And then, and then you've got this blue battery over here. Correct. So this is a lithium ion? Lithium ion battery. And what is that power? So that handles the lights, the refrigerator, CD, and radio. Um, what about the refrigerator? Yeah, the refrigerator, fridge freezer. Okay, so how does it charge? So it charges off of when the car's driving, obviously. So it goes into the S pod, which is the controller, then okay. it goes into the Red Arc battery management system, yep. which which charges as the car is running. But this cable here, this is what I plug my solar panel into. Okay. And then I just run the wire down here and I'll set the cold the solar panel out, trickle charge all day long. Oh man. So when you're sitting, you're charging. Still charging. Wow. Have you made any other modifications to the engine? Not to the engine other than the snorkel. Um, and a lot of people think this snorkel is for water. I can't tell you how many people say, oh, well, how deep can you go in the water? It's actually, we live in the Pacific Northwest, and I don't know, there's so many uh, you know, volcanoes up there, yeah. Mount Hood, Rainier, and all that, that a lot of the fire roads and the trails that we go on are actually ash. So. On a majority of cars, the air intake for the air, the air oh. clean filter is in the wheel well. So we actually get clean cold air above that ash cloud as we're going down the, the dirt. Okay. Wow. The roads, yeah. Huh. So now uh, all, all these lights here, right. are they? Are, do you have? Are they controlled by an app as well? Then? Yeah. So I have an app. Let me close this up. We have a. I I have an app. So the, the S Pod controller has an app. And I can turn on all of the lights. So we have these uh, Baja Design LP nines here. Uh, LP six is on the top. The Baja Design squadrons here. I use those for driving the snow and dust. We have the wrenches on the side. All of the uh, rock baller lights. So I'm going to put it in low. Yes. Uh, stock Toyota 360 cameras come on the screen, and you can actually lights up all that, so I can see so where you I'm can going. See it. It's amazing. Wow. Let's come this way. We've also got a winch in the middle. 12,000 pound Warren. So uh, just wanted to point out here. I think this is it, correct? Yes, correct. Okay, so this is the front uh, air nozzle. So you need to air up your tires. You take the lug nuts off. Absolutely. You do something out here. How many PSI does it, it, does a tank hold? Uh, I don't know how many PSI. It's a one gallon. It's a one gallon. It's a one gallon. Yeah. So probably about 125 PSI. Sure. You're capable of running any normal size oh, absolutely. power tool to take off your oh, yeah. the lug nuts or yeah. do anything you would need to do. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah. And, and that was that was your thought to do that. Yeah. It was it was well, yeah, part of the whole design. Yeah. Absolutely. Because you you got to remember. I mean, I mean the, the, this whole car, Chris has. I mean, he yeah. he spec everything out and said right. here's what i want right and and, and and i took it to a shop up in seattle at adventure ready and they make really high-end builds they don't they, they won't just throw on a rack and you know our tires right. they do full complete like, world-class expedition vehicle builds and so i wanted to make sure that i put our platform into a capable hands like that but, you know. so you'd have some a quality product oh, absolutely. when you left your rocker panels side steps yep. okay they are slightly tilted upwards, correct? Which is unusual. It's usually they're flat. Sure. Yeah. So what was the purpose with going with a with a slant like that? It helps with the strength. It also gives me a little bit more clearance than a flat yes. one. And then we put the kick out 
on the back for our daughters to be able to easily get up and, and inside of the vehicle. What have you done? You've, you've had to do some modifications on the interior as far as controlling electronics, sure. winches, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so if you if you can see in there, yeah. um, it's very, uh, very, very slight modifications. Um, I have the, the, the holder for the iPad, iPad, which is navigation, the CB, satellite radio, or not satellite, but satio, uh, satellite texting and GPS. Yes. So if we get in trouble, you just hit the SOS right. button and the military shows up. And then? And that's the S-Pod controller that we mounted. Now, a lot of people will mount it down in the dashboard or somewhere else. Yep. But in this scenario, that's where the, the sunglass holder is. And so I don't use a sunglass holder. It's a perfect opportunity to, to have utilize that of there. space. Yeah. Now, we can't see out the back when we're driving because obviously, as you saw, we have all the stores. See, your mirror is redundant. I mean, yeah. The mirror is a 4K, is going to be, excuse me, a 4K camera mirror. Digital mirror. Of, yeah. Yes, and we, we've time. driven those and absolutely love Amazing. Them. Yes, they are. Yeah. Because you can, usually, you typically will have the three buttons down here. Right, right. Where you can tilt and pan. So if you see yep. the Corvette video or if you see, like, and the Cadillac, both of those have that same rear view camera on them yeah. with all the adjustments, tilt, Really? Uh, up, down, pan left, yep. right, yep. and then brightness on and off. I mean, they're just amazing. You'll, you're going to love them. Okay, so, and uh, I, I like it that you left the sunroof. Oh, sure. Right here, just in case. Oh, yeah. There might be a little ray of sun coming yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> nice. Okay, um, up here you've got a rhino, uh, rhino rack. Yes, sir. And um, wow, that, that's uh, this is a, tell us a little bit about the tent that's on here. So it's a James Baru tent. Uh, James Baru is out of Portugal. It's a rooftop tent, and it doesn't open up to the side like majority of the rooftop tents do. It just opens up straight up and down. So I really wanted to keep the, the footprint of the vehicle smaller than one of the ones that opens up to the. To the See, and this has got gas gas shocks, correct? Right? Yeah, that help struts. not only to open it but also to close it. Absolutely. So it's not a huge thing. No. Close, and you can leave things like your your sleeping bags, your pillows, yes, that kind of stuff. We can actually store four sleeping bags and four pillows and a ladder to get up and down, which mounts right here okay. and still close it so all of that bedding comes out of the vehicle so it, I mean, but that's gonna be so nice you get to your campsite and basically you walk up there and go click click Absolutely. up the thing goes okay that one's ready yeah which is just, and that, so, and it, that's it, better than staying at home yeah and it, it, and it really it literally only takes about a minute to set it up it really takes yeah I can't, and, and you'll see it on a little clip i took earlier but uh we also got a little solar panel that's on top of uh on top of the tent yep. that runs a rechargeable flashlight yep. and a little fan. A fan yes. The fan that would tell us what the fan does because it's not like to cool you down. It's condensation. Condensation in the tent. Which, if you ever camp before, you'll know what that oh, is. Absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, Okay, and then you have, and we'll walk around a little bit here, we'll see, and we'll talk about that awning that goes across. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to mention these, you know, these side lights that you have, too. I don't, I, do you have one in the back? You can't, I can't well, see. I have, I do. They're not mounted up there, but actually, the reverse lights. So, oh, sure, because you're going to have this open anyway. Right. So they're actually down in here. Okay, and well, I see them. Yeah, and they're rigid. And they're, so they work lights all the way around. Right. Which, which is so nice. Oh, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I can't. I, yeah. Wow. So tell us a little bit about how this awning works. How how much space it takes up when it's packed up. So when we close this up, it it all folds up and rolls up into this track system, including okay. the poles. Everything is packs up, and it only sits out about this far. It's not very far at all. Wow. And we live in the Pacific Northwest, where obviously it rains a lot. Yes. And this has been an absolute lifesaver for us, especially with this tunnel on it, because we have walls that we actually put up three walls that go up around here. So unless we're using this as a base camp, the girls will sleep up. Upstairs, I'll put the walls down, put down a cot and a table, and this is my sleeping area, and they sleep upstairs. And, the, and uh, we were talking a little earlier with the, the, the tent manufacturer, um, and they said it's basically kind of like a, I think of it like almost like a curtain. 
Yep. Like, like, like a curtain, you just pull it across because so then the ends right. zip together. Yeah, they do. And, and then it must have a door it. somewhere. It, it, has a, it has a door right here, and then there's windows all the way around it. It's a beautiful Which, which is just so yeah. nice. And and uh, do you happen to know what size this is? I'm thinking 12, 12 8, uh, 10 feet? 100, 108 inches by 96. 108 inches by 96. I mean, it's, it's big. It's, it's really nice. It would be. Uh, and now, at that point, you got instant shade. Oh, absolutely. Which and, is a huge deal out there. And extra privacy, because that's the thing that people don't think about when they build these kind of vehicles is if you have to change your clothes if you have to do some private things oh, I, I, yeah. i'm standing out here and everybody else is watching me too so i'll put the walls up and then i can change and that is just incredible. I, we absolutely love it it's been a game changer for us and so, and, and and you use it i mean you're out you're out use it this is it has only forty thousand miles on it, but thirty of those thousand are absolute trail miles. They're absolute trail miles. This is not it's purpose built. It's not a daily driver. You don't take the kids to school. It just goes on the road. Wow. Yeah. And, and tell us a little bit about the tires you got on there. These are uh, these are not so stock. No, so stock were eighteen inch ribs. So we went down to a seventeen inch method. To, uh, wheel and then wrapped them with the KO2 so it's basically a 34 inch tire so there wasn't any really we lifted it up two and a half inches but it, there wasn't any other modifications with drive lines or you know uh, having to cut to make okay. room for KDSS and some roller. Where do you find something like this? So both the front and rear bumpers are yep. ARB. We had to actually get them imported in from Australia because again at the time they weren't available in the States for okay. the 200 series. When we, when we purchased it, this system, or excuse me, the storage system for the jerry can only allowed one jerry can to be uh, stored sideways. So we actually cut it and extended it out. So we can carry two. Yeah. And of course you can carry in the water. Oh, sure, yeah. The, 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 the guys at Adventure Ready did an amazing job. They gave us exactly what we wanted and the quality of the build. I've had zero issues. Absolutely zero issues. So, you know, Chris, I, we, we, we really appreciate you taking your time sure, out absolutely. and, and uh, you know, showing us your vehicle. If you had to name one thing or two, Mm -hmm. That was your favorite thing about this whole project. What would you say? Number one, the suspension for the ride. Okay. Put the Icon Stage 6 on it. And on long washboard dirt tracks, I'll put it on the lowest setting and it's like riding a Cadillac. Wow. It's smooth. You don't get jarred. You don't have to wear a kidney belt. That's pretty it's amazing for a washboard. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. And then on the highway, we put it on the highest. Yep. And it's like a rally car, even this heavy. It's wow. very agile. It would have to be the suspension, and I think secondly would be the refrigerator uh, system. system. Which, I mean, that that's just, you because you said you could go for, I mean, two well, weeks with with, right. with, with the, what you're allowed, what you can carry for food. If food was an right. issue, you know, you could go for much longer than that. There, there has to be three, though, because it's the storage, too, because without the storage system, then you have bags for flying over the storage system really is. And it keeps everything right in there. Absolutely, yeah. That, that's amazing. Chris, thank you so thank much. You. It's been an, so it's much. been an absolute pleasure meeting you and getting to know your car. Thank oh, you. Sure. Sure, thank you. Thanks, guys.